Good evening, everybody. So I'll tell you, Maisa, everyone's heard of the famous Ap the Rav. So Avram Yeshua Heschel of Ap. So he was the Rebbe, he was the Rav of the city of Ap. So the Maisa goes that there was a Yid that lived in the city of Ap. And this Yid's Parnassa was that he was in charge of an inn, of one of the inns in, in the town over there. And the way it worked was that this inn, this hotel, was really owned by the parts, by the landowner. And this Jew sort of rented the inn from the parts, and he would, you know, run the business, his, the business of the inn. And at the same time, he would make a parnasa from that to Jew, and he would also have the funds to pay the rent for the inn to the parts. Okay. So the Maisa goes that this, uh, this little yid, let's call him Yankel. So Yankel is renting this inn from the parts, and business is very down, business is down. So when business is down, not only does he have a hard time supporting his family, but now the rent is piling up with the parts. And the parts is not someone you want to go into debt with. And so it keeps on going. The parts, you know, letters keep on coming to his home that, you know, the parts uh, needs his money and he's very upset and, you know, consequences are coming. The guy's old mamish, like uh, his whole day, his whole life is mamish nervous about what's going to be with the parts. Now it happens to be the parts was a big anti-Semite, and he knows that this time of year, Pesach time, is a big time of Yantif, and the Yidden are supposed to be besimcha and excited about Yantif. So that's exactly when the parts is going to come to make trouble. So Shabbos Agadol, Mamish Shabbos Agadol, early afternoon, the parts sends a bunch of Kazakhs, some of his uh, cronies, to go into this Yid's house and to just make a korban of the house to just intimidate. So these Cossacks break into this Yid's home, Nebuch, Shabbos afternoon, Shabbos Agadol, early afternoon, and they make a Chorban. They flip over the tables and they take things and they're breaking things, smashing plates against the wall, taking the food and throwing it outside, just making a Chorban of the whole house, just to make, give him Tsaris then and to intimidate, to say, you know, this is, what, this, is, this is only the beginning of what could happen to you, God forbid, unless you pay up to the parts. So this is what happens. So after this whole uh, tornado, you know, comes through his house. So now the the Yankel and his and his family are sitting there, like everything is mamish upside down and inside out, all broken. What are we supposed to do? He still doesn't have the money, and he knows that now it's just a matter of time until the next wave of tsaris comes with the pirates, and it's going to be even worse. It is Shabbos Agadol though, and the minig is the Rav gives a drasha Shabbos Agadol. So Yankel's thinking to himself, "What am I?" I could sit here in my own misery and just like look around the room, look around my house, everything's broken, and just get more and more nervous, more and more depressed. Or I could go, at least I could go to the Shabbos Agal Joshua. So fine, I'll go to the Shabbos Agal Joshua. So he goes to the Shabbos Agal Joshua later that afternoon, and his mom is like, his head is spinning from what's going on, you know. But okay, the Rav is giving a Joshua. So he goes in there, and it wasn't just time, you know, he's off the Rav. So he goes in, he's a little bit late, his head was, you know, not in it. So he goes in, he just he walks in the middle of the drasha, and he goes to the back of the base medrash, and he's listening to, to whatever degree he's able to. And this is the first thing he hears. First thing he hears is Aptarov is talking about, within the drasha, he's talking about c- comparing and contrasting two brachas that we make in davening. One bracha that we say right before Shemun Esrei is bracha to Hashem Gaal Yisrael, that Hashem redeemed us, past tense. And then in the middle of Shemun Esrei, we have a bracha that we say, Baruch atah Hashem Goyal Yisrael, that Hashem redeems us in the present tense. So the Rebbe was comparing those two brachas. And this is what the, the Yid in the back of the room hears. He says, the Rebbe says like this, that those two brachas are talking about two different redemptions. The first bracha that we make, which is Gal Yisrael, that Hashem redeemed us in the past, that's talking about Yitzhak Mitzrayim. But then the bracha of Gal Yisrael means that even in our Galas, Hashem still redeems us. And then the Rebbe gave the example. And the Rebbe said like this, I'll give you a marshal. Like, let's say there's a Yid, and this is what the Yid is hearing, but let's say there's a Yid who uh, rents a certain property from the Parits, and business is slow, and he's not able to pay the rent. And let's say the Parits sends Kazakhs into the guy's house to make a Chorban of the house, to intimidate him, to give him Tsars. So even that Yid should know that just like the Rebbe Nishom took us out of Mitzrayim, Gal Yisrael, the Rebbe Nishom is also Gal Yisrael. So the Yid hears that. He's like, okay, I heard. That's all I need to hear. He leaves the base medrash and he's skipping home. He's mamish dancing home. And as he, he comes home from, from shul and his wife sees him and he's all smiling and happy. And he's like, Yanko, he, she, she thinks Yanko lost his mind. And she's like, and he says to this, Rebetzin, Rebetzin, we have nothing to worry about. We, what happened? What, you, somehow you found money or something? No, no, no. The Rebbe said of art. He's like, the Rebbe said of art. The Rebbe said of art. He said that Gol Yisrael, 
the Rav Shalom redeems us, and if he redeems us, it's finished. Like it's not, yeah, he's going to take care of us. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. So, uh, the Rebbe says she's thinking to herself, uh, whatever, okay, <laughs> yeah, this is how it is. Now, meanwhile, the parrots, when these Kazakhs come back to the parrots, they, you know, the part says how to go. They had to go. We made a mess of the whole place, and the whole family was on spiel because they were all like losing their minds and all nervous. And the parrots think is, oh, Baruch Hashem, you know, I didn't say Baruch Hashem, but you know, mission accomplished. He intimidated the family. So he says, you know what, but I'm curious. I want to see, it, it gives me so much pleasure to know that it, that, that that family, that, that Yid is in distress. He sends his Cossacks back. They already made a mess, but go, go, go see what's going on. Give me back another report. I'm sure by now he's even more nervous. So the Cossacks go back later that evening and they just look in the window and they see the whole place is still a mess. But they see Yankel sitting there with Yishavadas and he's smiling and he's playing with his kids and the wife is sitting there and everyone seems to be in a good mood. And the Kazakhs don't make it, it doesn't make any sense. So, so he, so the Kazakhs go back to the parts, and they send the report back that you know they, you know everything is still in disarray, but they seem to be very happy and confident. The person thinks, how's it possible? Like it doesn't make any sense. They should be so confident. He says, I have to see this for myself. So he sends message that the parts wants the Yankel to come. So Yanko gets the message, and all of a sudden, like that nervousness comes back. Like the parts is actually calling me. Like who knows what's going to happen? But then he reminds himself, "No, the Rebbe said, Gal Yisrael, the Rebbe is going to protect me from the parts. I have nothing to worry about." So he goes to the parts, and then he puts on his guard, believing it's megachanis. So by this Hashem, the Rebbe is going to protect him. He's going to experience the Yitzchak Mitzrayim right now. Then he goes to the parts. Then he goes in, and the parts is, is expecting this broken yid, but Yanko comes in with like you know confidence and strength. And the parts is taken aback by this. And the part says, uh, Yankel, uh, you know, where's my money? So Yankel says, I don't have your money yet. <laughs> the part's like, we have my money. Why not? So Yankel says, business is slow. I'll get your money. You'll get the money when I'm able to. So all of a sudden, like, in the, the conversation just shifted. Like, Yankel is talking like the parts. And the parts is talking like, uh, like a downtrodden person. So the part says, okay, okay, fine. You'll give me the money when you're able to. Uh, what, what could I, the, the words come out of the part's says, no, so what could I do to help you? And so Yankel, Yankel says, oh, I'll tell you what to do. If you lend me X amount of money, or even better than that, Yankel says, maybe give me a percentage of a particular business that you own. And from there, I'll be able to build on that success and I'll be able to have the funds to pay you back. And without even realizing what's going on, the part says, sure, whatever. And he takes out some paperwork and, and he actually gives a part of a, of a profitable business for this Yankel. And, and, and the Yankel leaves and the part's like, what just happened? But that's what happened. And so Yankel goes and he builds on the business and he's more successful and so on. And just in, even within a matter of a few days, he has all the funds that he needs to pay the parts back from being a partner in this other business from the parts. And so if you, this was Shavu Zagadol. A few days later, it's already close to Erev Pesach. And so everyone's coming to the Rav for Mechir's Chametz. So this Yid comes in and Yankel's like all excited. His face is beaming and so on. He goes to the Rav. And the Rav says, no, Yankel has everything. And he says, Rebbe, like what the Rebbe said, Go Yisrael, a mamish you should know. The Rav Nishal mamish saved my life. And the Rav said, Yankel, the Rav Nishal is always saving our lives. Everything. This is just one example of the many Nisim that you've experienced in your life. You don't even know it. It's just, this happens to be a moment where the Rebbe Hashem showed, his, showed himself as the Gal Yisrael. But you should know, the Rebbe Hashem is always the Gal Yisrael. That's the nice thing. No. Shri Zaych to have Amuna in our tzaddikim, like Yankel had Amuna in Avtarav. We should Zaych to see the, the Yad Hashem and the Hashkoch HaPratis and the Geulas that the Rebbe Hashem is always giving us, like this year experience with Gal Yisrael. And Shri Zaych to have come into, uh, not just the Vach, but to come into Pesach with, it's a Chag Kosher Sameach, a Chag of Geula, a Chag of Iris, which we're to experience that. Befrat to Bechlal, Vyaskal Tzadik, Mehevi Menu Amen.